Hello everyone and welcome back to Control. So I've been trying to record this part a few times and I had to start over each time from this level's beginning. Anyway, let's go talk to Ahti yet again. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, no perkele suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Perkele. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow? But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? <laughs> right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Okay, so here we have another mission as well. Yep. And let's Burn listen to him a bit longer. Throw it into fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Yeah, that's that's the what thing I want to listen to. Okay, so anyway, let's go open this door real quick and get this thing here. I've been ah, oh, can't admit. The first time I forgot to take the video, I got the audio as I probably said already. I don't know if I did. And the second time my computer crashed. Perfect, right? So, let's go then. Open these doors. And we can then take this thing. And there is a small shortcut. Not really even a small shortcut, but let's break this fast as well. I mean, why not? I keep okay, forgetting so that I do have the... Oh yeah, that we can forget. Explosion. We're gonna hear it again in a moment. In a better quality, that is to say. Hit pipe. It's the Northmore thing. And here we go. Northmore. Also, case file. I just got the merry-go-round again. And here we go. Northmore. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. 
I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmoor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Okay, and with that we can continue and take this document here. Arish escaped OOP. Attention maintenance staff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago. They want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse sipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own. And definitely don't find it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Nice. Interesting. Also, we now have the thing that we needed to upgrade our... Whatever the thing is. Just by the control point. To get better mods. Later down the line, but... That's kind of pointless. Oh yeah, here is the shelter. Go and get this thing. That thing there. Nice. Anyway, this is just about the best graphics I can give you guys, but it should work for now. At least, hopefully. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Yeah, we know. But a moment before that, we'll do this thing here. Claim control point. Different from cleansing one. But anyway, here we go. Uh, abilities. Take a bit of energy, I believe. That's fine. And then take this thing here. And this thing here. And just a bit more damage. After that, we are fine. With everything else. I do believe that I want this thing at some point as well. So that we can get to here. This is going to be useful as well. For now, we've done everything we need. And here we can take the Shatterer again. And go here. And we also had the Spin thing. And upgrade this thing. There we go. Now we need five Threshold and one Astral Blip. Anyway. Here we'll go to talk to the security guy. Hey! hey. Chief Arish! FBC Sec Yeah, we, we know. love HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, 
I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Okay, then. Try to stay alive. Let's talk to him one more time to get the rest of the things from him. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Oh, here we go. We'll listen to each of these now. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Okay, interesting. And Arish, next. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. And then NSC power plant. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau. And it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. Yeah, that's gonna come in a document as well. Anyway, service weapon? What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me about the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and, uh... It looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Okay, and then the last one. Ahti. Do you know this Ahti guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Nope. Finland. He's from where he's from. Look, he's just from some Finland. Stones that are better left unturned, you know? Oh, okay, anyway. Exit. And here we go. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. A document. Classified. Okay, security matter. Again, this is mostly about Ahti. Um, you can read it yourself, but it's basically saying that... Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. It's basically saying you know what you know about him and the rest is classified. We basically know more than these guys already know about Ahti by knowing that he's a mind reader. Anyway, let's go then. And we need to burn all the trash. And that thing there is empty. There isn't anything inside. And here we have some enemies. There we go. And behind, I believe, is one coming. Yelp, that hurt. Anyone else? There we go. And then we'll enter this room here. And yeah, here we see this thing here. In a moment it's gonna drop. Yeah, let's go. Put it back in. 
I forgot to the existing. Replace. I didn't replace it. I just placed it back in. I could have used one of these things, but since it, there is no point in it, then why should I? One down. Two down. And there we go. And there we are. The last one alive. Or died. And cleanse control point. There we go. Fun. And then we'll enter the furnace chamber. Here we have to burn some trash. Oh, and also take note of this place here. There is nothing there right now, but in a moment... Trash. Did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations and waste time, but... Maybe. That's what he wants, and I'll get it done. Yeah, if Ati wants it, then we'll do it. And there should be more trash around here. Shackermit. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Uh, pull it in. Uh, come on, pull it. And throw it in. Where is more trash? There is one at least. And there we go. Is this the last one then? It might be. Moment, let's get it. Like so, yeah. The last one. Document. Mail tube complaint. Uh, hey Bowser, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. Reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or something such fuckery, or some such fuckery. And if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just went in here before I make a formal complaint. Useless piece of shit, Rodriguez. Okay, and research uh, about this thing here. Again, just an adaptive response to HRA. That's about it, aside from the exploding part. Yeah, I'm not gonna read those things because, well, that's all I remember from then. It just kept saying the same thing over and over again. At least that's what I heard. Anyway, let's see this thing. Go oh, here. Oh, wait. There we go. As you can see, now there is a television there. Take it with us. Throw it into the fire. And there's one more thing I need to check out before we continue further in. There is no television there. Nor anywhere else that I can see, right? Yeah, no. There is one television that we cannot get in an easy way, I believe. Oh, okay, me. Get up. Get up. Okay, there we go. Get to me. It's harder than it looks. There we go. And open this thing. And right now, turn your gaze to the right and see this thing here. After this, we jump. Take this thing. Get to me. Uh, oh, that didn't even hurt me. Now we need to try to get it back up here. Okay, failed. How do we get out? Get it out from there? Out of the way. There we go. I got it. And this thing here goes into the fire as well. I believe that there should have been the last item that 
we needed to throw in. No, it wasn't. God damn it. Is there any more of them? I don't know. If there is, then we should throw them into the fire and we get some item. I remember, if I remember correctly. Anyway, let's continue. I'll try figuring it out off screen. If I can figure it out, I'll explain it to you guys later then. This place is gonna come down. Yeah, it's not gonna come down. There we go. Few kills. And there we go, another man down. And here is a part where we need to kill every enemy we see. There we go. There we are. And I don't see any other enemies here, so... Next, we'll turn this on. Take care of that guy there. Easy kill considering that we upgraded our gear. Another guy down. And... Wait, I hear that. Where is it from? Wait, I got blue gear. There we are. And down. Anyway, we got something blue. Uh, we'll check it out later, because we're in a bit of a hurry right now, as I don't want to do this a fourth time. Anyway, we'll take one of these here. And Shit. it's not working. What now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that. The clock? He's This thing here. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, let's wait until it leaves there, and then we have to dodge these things again. Just throw it. Oh, whatever file that is, I don't want to touch it. There we go. He's down. Now we need to wait until he leaves. And that thing is still there. Disgusting. Okay, now we can go. And more file. Or trash, or whatever this thing spews out. And here we go. You probably have noticed that I've done this a few times. Anyway. And this, I'll take this thing here, Ritual Impulse. Wait until this thing goes down. Into the pipe, the big pipe. And now we can leave this place. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Yep, and here we go. The pipes. Nothing more satisfying. It's on. Uh, let's take this thing here. There is going to be an enemy up there, coming at us. As you can see. Good thing that I was prepared, considering that I've done this few times already, and now we go up. And that actually went better than last time. Last time I almost died by his hand. Mostly because I made a mistake. And something exploded to my face. Also, there was a box there on the platform, but we can't get, get it just yet. We'll need an OOB to get it. Anyway, let's go. Oh god. Headshot. 
Headshot. Ja, da bin ich. Komm on, lauf. Oh. Pocket launchers are not allowed in the facility. You are not supposed to do that. There we go. And there we go. And one more guy alive. And more people spawning in. Down you go. And now you are the last one left. There we are. Oh no, these things. Where's the last guy? There we go. Oh wait. There we are. Much better. Anyway, uh, right now we have one more thing to do. As you can see, fix the NSC energy converters. So we'll go up here, see that there is nothing hidden. Yep, nothing. And then we'll go this way to enter this area. More enemies about to come. One down. Two down. Three down. Ah, oh, that almost killed me. A terrible choice, but... That, that doesn't matter right now. We're about to reach the end, so leave a like, subscribe and share this video, and we'll be checking this place out more thoroughly on the next part. After we get this NCS energy converter done. Anyway, let's check this thing out. Can we do this? Yeah, no. So, we'll be going right here into the energy sen converters center and here we see a few more enemies. We need to hurry. There we are. And there we go. There we go. And now we'll lens this control point. And with that, this part comes to an end. Also, another room that we cannot enter yet. So, anyway, leave a like, subscribe and share this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!